Cuckoo, it's Kennedy. So the other day I watched a video by a YouTuber that I watch quite frequently named Kalel, and she made a video called 10 Easy Ways to Be Prettier. Now before I keep going with this video, I just want to say first of all, I'm not hating on her, I'm not attacking her at all. I actually think that she had good intentions with this video. It's just the way that she went about doing it that kind of bothered me. So really quickly, for those of you who haven't watched the video, like I said, the video is titled 10 Easy Ways to Be Prettier. And she's basically talking about ways to make yourself prettier from the outside using makeup and beauty products. She could have packaged it a little bit differently in my opinion. She could have titled the video something like makeup tips, beauty products that you really should try. Because the way that she delivered and titled the video I know that if I were a 12, 13 year old girl, you know, going through puberty, going through this really confusing time in my life where I'm still trying to really find myself, I know that watching that, I definitely would have felt like I'm not pretty enough, I'm not beautiful enough, I'm not good enough, and I have to do all of these things, you know, get my eyebrows waxed and threaded, I have to get eyelash extensions, I have to wear makeup, wear highlighter, do cat eyeliner, all of that just to feel pretty. And I think all of those things are fine. But that's not what makes a person beautiful. So here I am going to tell you some of the ways that I think you can make yourself feel more beautiful and just radiate beauty from the inside out. So first, and I kind of just said it I guess, the first thing is to realize that your beauty really does start from within. Be kind, be positive towards yourself and towards others, just really try to focus on being an awesome person. All right, the second step is not to try to always fixate on society's standards of beauty. I know firsthand that this is super difficult because we always see models everywhere. We always see, you know, things that you need to do in order to fit into society's mold. So what, you don't look like Sports Illustrated or Victoria's Secret models. Do not compare yourself to others. It's something that we all do. Um, but it's not that healthy. I remember going through a time, especially being in the entertainment industry, when I would constantly look at pictures of girls I was friends with or girls who were in my competition and be like, wow, look at everything that they have that I don't have. And instead of comparing yourself to other people, you need to focus on your positive qualities that you have because there are some things that you have that other people don't necessarily have. So this next thing has to do with makeup, and I know in Chloe's video she did talk about, you know, wearing makeup and using certain makeup products, and this is what I have to say to that. First of all, you should be wearing makeup whenever the f*** you want. Sometimes it does make me feel cute and it makes me feel good. I completely get that. And if you like wearing makeup, then that's perfectly fine. Wear makeup because you like to wear it. Wear makeup because it makes you feel a certain way. With that said, the next step for me at least in feeling beautiful and confident and empowered is getting comfortable with yourself and letting yourself know that you are beautiful when you are not wearing makeup. So sometimes you know you're home, you just woke up, you're about to go to sleep, whatever, and you don't have makeup on. Or some people don't wear makeup ever. Some people, you know, like to let their skin breathe every now and then. I struggled and still kind of do struggle with acne. And I used to have pretty bad scars all over my skin. So it took me a while to get comfortable with leaving the house with absolutely nothing on my face. So if you're one of these people who is really used to wearing makeup, then I promise you when you're not wearing makeup, you also are just as beautiful and you should still feel confident. Slay with your bare face. Yes. So in Chloe's video, she also kind of touched upon the fact that it's important to, you know, take care of yourself. And I wholeheartedly agree with this. But taking care of yourself doesn't stop at putting makeup on your face. Personally, at least once a week, I like to have a day where I just kind of pamper myself and chill. I do whatever makes me feel beautiful, whatever makes me feel nicer. I'll do like a face mask, I'll shave, and shaving's not everyone's thing, but it's something that I like to do, so I'll do it. I'll just do little things to make myself feel good. You feel? And I think this kind of sums everything up. That you need to do whatever you need to and want to do to make yourself feel good on the inside and on the outside. As long as you're not harming anybody else and it's making you feel confident and beautiful, by all means, do it. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, this is not an attack on Kalel. I absolutely love her channel and I really do think that she had good intentions. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next week. Bye!